What's going on everyone? Welcome to day number three of the Hardcore Iron Man adventure. Before we get into the video, I saw a ton of comments asking about the wiki page that I was using and I wanted to take you through it real quick. This is the wiki guide that my wiki page is largely based off of. Uh, the person who's helping me maintain my own page uh, is the person who wrote this guide and it is a fully fledged efficient Iron Man pathway for the quickest, most effective way to get directly to the end game. So uh, anyways, I've linked them both in the description down below. Full props and, and massive, massive shout out to Clissa for, for making this because it has made this series so much more enjoyable for me to have sort of a set plan and a set understanding as to why I'm doing each thing at the point that I'm doing it. So anyway, guys, with all that said, let's get into the video and I hope you all enjoy. So off stream Ryan did a little bit of woodcutting because the step we are on currently is to get 15 fire making and 30 wood cutting. Uh, then we need to chop five willow logs. And then, uh, yeah, we have a ton of quests to do today. This could be the biggest questing day of the account so far. And by a factor of a whole lot, we've got Stolen Hearts, Diamond of the Rough, Jack of Spades, Iklaren's Little Helper, Tribal Totem, Jungle Potion, Recruitment Drive. And then we're doing like Dig Site, Witch's House, Death Plateau. It's a nuts amount of quests. To and honestly, I'm okay with it. I'm good with it. We're gonna full send it. By the end of today, we are probably gonna be passing the amount of quest points that I had on Fast Drag on episode eight or nine of the Hardcore series, uh, which was 1600 total. We got some work to do. Yeah, we've got to do our daily challenges. We've got a Reaper. We've got to do our beehives. We've got to do caches. Got to do that first. All righty. Daily challenges done. Three fishing levels. We take those. And I think we have a progression reward too. It's my first time ever touching any of these like daily progression rewards because on my main and even on the other Iron Man, I just, you know, I didn't bother with dailies. Challenges, collect rewards. Okay, we got ourselves a weekly D&D &D reset token and some ottomans. And the next one we're gonna get is a dart. Wait, does that mean we can double Herbie Werby? Wait, that's actually hype. Okay, yeah, life is really good. Alrighty, and just like that, without ever having to train agility, two days of jot in, we are level 19. <laughs> Wait, hello? Um, uh, hi. You look very tall. All right, if Max said it, it's true. Thank you. You are looking quite manly yourself. That is actually such a sick name and character combo. I was like, okay, that's a player, right? And then he turned to chop down the tree. And I was like, there's no way. That's so sick. Very, very cool stuff. Okay, that is level 30 wood cutting. That did not take a whole lot of time. We need five willow logs for something. Um, and then as soon as we got those, it is time to unlock Metaphos. That is level 20 farming coming in. Not too bad. This is crazy that this person is here every single day and has been since the day Nemi Forest came out. It's time to get a bunch of farming levels. Here we go. This method is so overpowered. I can't believe they left this in. The level up window doesn't have time to finish playing. The animation does not finish before the next level. Dopamine go burr. I think you get a level from this every single day you do it, even if you're at like level 40 or 50. That is level 30 farming. If you're wondering, this is why we lamped a bunch of farming early on and did like Violet is Blue, Violet is Blue 2, because you need, I believe, 17 to get access to beehives. And then as soon as you got access to beehives, you're pretty much good to go all the way into the mid game. A child and a grandparent are crossing the road. Which do you hit first? hit both to get the score bonus. Stupid question. I'm gonna get the multiplier otherwise. That wasn't so bad. Oh yeah, he straight up dies. The good thing I didn't pressure him. I think I pressured him on the other account. I still don't say cumge when the guy died. That's just disrespectful. It's not okay. That is the least appropriate time to use that emote. Okay, that is the Stolen Hearts quest complete. And I guess while we're here, we'll start the Diamond in the Rough quest. But we just passed 50 quest points. We now have 51, which means we are actually going to be excitingly going to May and getting another quest point shop dice because I'm out of money and I could use 250,000 coins. All right, here we go. What do you got for me? Wait, that's actually drip. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. I'm just going to take the money and I'm going to shut up and we're going to go to the rune shop and buy some runes and do Vizwax. <laughs> you need 2k of those ones? I didn't know. Okay, we take 51. We take 51. 51's good too. 51's good too. 51 is, is good too. It says, ready? Look for the sparkling calphites. Note, you must slice open any three calphites for moving a sparkle. This will take far more than three. Be prepared to click thousands. Is it actually that bad? It says in the wiki, be prepared to click thousands. Thousands? Oh no. Like finding a calphite in a haystack. Look for that sparkling. Okay. Oh, that one. Wait. Easy. Wiki telling me be prepared to click thousands. We got this. Keep your eyes peeled. Check. Got it. Be prepared to click thousands. Just built irregularly. Honestly, built irregularly. Ow. Blinded. 
by the... Ow. Okay. What am I doing? I think I did this on Stable Client in the last year with a Fasoa. I'm pretty sure I had a Fasoa for this. I think they should reuse mechanics from this for the fifth boss. That is Diamond in the Rough quest complete and level 20 agility done too. We take those. Okay, that is Jack of Spades done at Metaphos Access. Honestly, good little bit of XP as well. We absolutely take those. Four dungeoneering levels, a thieving level, and a construction level as well. Every day, the, the first couple of kills are super, super scuffed, but we're good now. Beautiful. Great work, everyone. You are all god tier adventurers. Wait, did somebody get gloves? Oh, we did. Congratulations. The first person to get a drop. Wait, someone got a spore sack. What is going on with this? Dude, that's crazy. Oh my goodness. Man's got a helmet. Can I say, I miss this so much. Doing group PVMing and even mass PVMing where I'm never going to get a drop on this contribution because my stats are so low. But it's so cool to see. I'm not one mining. I hate my life. I literally can't help. I'm, z I'm level zero mining. How is this happening on day three? Day one, acceptable. Day three? I right, one mining. We're good. Everything's fine. <laughs> it's literally on a hundred. Oh no. Absolutely perfectly juiced. Oh my goodness. Wait, we got four drops and nine kills. But uh, that is another reaper done. Level 44 Slayer now on day three, having not done a single Slayer assignment. Absolutely massive. Nicely done. It's level 39 Divination. Six more levels until caches get infinitely easier and quicker. It only took three days for the first client crash on the account. How we feeling, everybody? Stable, strong, tall, manly client. Okay, let's go to soften him. Wait. What is he on lunch break? Hello? All right, I guess we'll go the long way. Please. 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 And drink. And drink again. Please get there. Let's go, dude. Now we only have to do it 20 more times this quest. <sighs> that is the travel totem quest complete. Five swordfish. We take those. Two thieving levels. We take those as well. All right. On to the next quest. Jungle potion time. A classic. I have actually been here for 10 minutes. Maybe the real grimy steakweed were the friends we made along the way. I'm good with that. Yeah. Oh, that's a new tune? What is going on? Oh, we did it! Let's go! Okay, everything's fine. We take those. Okay, I just need to clean one. No, just one! I'm assuming they're okay clean, right? Or do I need another one for Legends Quest? Does it have to be grimy or are we okay? It can be clean? Okay, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. Everything's fine. <sighs> I, 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 that would have been very upsetting for me. Wait, damn, we're styling. Okay, I'm just respectfully fire fit right off the go. All right, now we go to World 3 Lumbridge and uh, people will think that I'm soliciting tall and manly men and then I'm going to make a ton of money. Can't wait for episode 40 of this series in two months time when I'm still a female character and you guys ask why. And I'm like, oh, you know, I just never got around to changing it back. You know, we're playing pretty efficient. So recruitment drive quest complete that was actually a very simple quest got ourselves a bunch of lamps as well four levels an agility level and a prayer level um recruitment drive done we've already done the anaconda tutorial so now we need to do the base camp tutorial and then we're doing the dig site quest oh that's gonna be a fun one oh no it messed up my outfit but what is that stash wait idea how many do you think there are let's say there are like 25 of them do we just roll a random.org right 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 1 and 46 whatever we get we're sticking with number 32 34 33 32 oh no <laughs> that's even worse can we take a mop handle and put it right there wait wait, wait. take a mop handle and just Photoshop it right, right there, <laughs> if at all possible. The sea is primordial. Your mom is primordial. Sorry, time. that's rude. 
Alrighty, Anacronia has been set up. Just working towards having more D&Ds we can do. Alrighty, leave that at that. All seems good. And it is time for the dig site quest. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go. I didn't get the lodestone! Alright, edit that part out. Edit that part out. No. No, I don't think I will. Stop spamming efficiency! No! You guys are dumb! You don't, you can't even build it. Yeah, I think the whole point is that we get the lodestone after we do the dig site quest. This is a, a local quest we can do to, to save some time. Okay. Alrighty. Dig site quest complete. And a bunch of ability unlocks as well that we're going to have to get at some point. Now level 19, oh sorry, level 30 mining and 19 herb lore as well. All right, team. It is time for the inaugural run of Herbie Werby. We are checking in at level 19 and we get to do it twice back to back. So uh, we'll see what we get up to. I know it scales linearly all the way up, but I'm hoping by the end of this we'll be like, I don't know, level 25? Would the tier three rule apply to engineering? No. I think the spirit of the leeching rule is this, especially for dangerous activities, getting carried through it is really boring and really lame and it removes all risk. For an activity that's already safe, for example, Krosis, um, and the same as Dungeoneering, uh, I don't think it matters nearly as much. Alrighty, second Irby where we done, two back to back, and we are now level 27. What do you guys think? Think we got it? We don't got it, dude. Help! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Eat the cake faster! Holy guacamole! Level 49! We're level 490s clapping me! That is the Witch's House quest complete. Couple HP levels. Slightly harder to kill next time around. And now it's time to head to Birthorp and get Death Plateau done. We're bringing the cake with us because that was a spooky situation. Alrighty, Death Plateau done. And we've got three smithing lamps because our next step is to get level 8 in the smithing skill. I'm just going to make one. What if I burn it? Um, I'm cracked. I'm not going to burn it. That easy. See, here's the problem. If you set up to have to make like eight pies, you're going to burn seven pies. Prep for one. Good to go. Every time. All right, let's get this quest done. Alrighty, That is the Knight's Sword quest complete. 12,725 smithing XP. That is, uh, that is 20 smithing levels. The flaming head from the Ottoman store counts the light source. Does it really? Flaming head. And this is an actual light source. Oh, that's so stupid. Guess I can get rid of my candles. Okay, that is the Lost Tribe quest complete, which is not actually a part of our pathway, but this is a super important quest because, as you can see in the words, we get ourselves a Ring of Life, which we are honestly probably just going to keep on and lock to our person for... I would say the vast majority of the remainder of this series. So in a way, kind of a best in slot piece for hardcore. Um, that thing is going to be coming with us everywhere we go. Absolutely huge. All my homies hate tourist traps. I actually, I have such a strong disdain for this quest. Let's do it. Is this the second time he's called a quest the worst quest in the game? Yes, but in my defense, hyperbole is a very useful device. <laughs> Wait, you don't even have to ask her? You just... I didn't realize he's straight up yeet her in a barrel. That's not okay. And there we go. We are now finished the tourist trap quest. We've got 70 quest points now and level 33 agility. All right, chat. That was kind of the goal for today. What did we even do today? So we did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and the goblin one. We did 14 quests today. That's actually nuts. The plan for tomorrow is going to be, I'm actually really excited for it. Um, Plague City, Biohazard, Fight Arena, Trinome Village, Grand Tree. Um, and then we're starting Rescue for Disaster as well. So yeah, we've got some really good stuff tomorrow. And I look forward to seeing many of you there.